Good morning guys and welcome back to Damo Drives. I've just picked up the keys for the new Kona N. I've loved every N series car they brought out. The i30, brilliant. The i20 I drove last year, brilliant. Now this, I've never sat in here before so I just need to work out first of all how to start it. And that is it. We've got a eight speed also box. Put it in D, and that is it. So, what is this car? Well, it is a family car. <laughs> Basically, it's an SUV based on the Kona. And on top of that, we've got some of the brilliant parts that we found in the i30N Performance, which I loved so, so much. That was an utterly brilliant car. We've got the same engine up front, it's a two litre turbo GDI engine with 276 brake horsepower, around 490 newton metres of torque, adaptive dampers, we've got active exhaust on here. There are loads and loads of settings you can set on this car, either when you're driving around as a normally family car, you can put the settings in boring sensible mode, so you can take the kids out, go to the shops and do all of that sort of thing. But when you want to have some fun, you've got the option very simply is to press a button and everything goes into N mode, all loud and shouty and angry. And there is nothing wrong with that. It's the sort of car that I would probably want to go for if I was going to get something. We've got the practicality of that SUV format, slightly higher, slightly more room, which is awesome. And then when I want to go out and have some fun, once I've dropped the wife at home and the dog, <laughs> you can then have some fun on some nice country roads. It's just a different sort of car, a different beast. So I'm down here at Millbrook and we're gonna take the car onto the hill route it's supposed to represent um, or recreate the Norschleife. So basically being twisting and turning, just putting the car through the perfect roads. Now, before we get there, have a look around the cabin. We've got the new touch screen over on the left. That's the only thing. We have got some physical buttons, which is fantastic. So a big thumbs up on that one. I'm not gonna go through all of the options because there are way, way too many of those. The steering wheel, there are a lot of buttons on here. The most important ones, we've got these blue flags on the left and right, and they're into um, your like, presets that you can configure on here. So it might be that you want softer suspension. Um, yeah, so you might want softer suspension for the UK roads, because UK roads are pretty shocking. <laughs> um, but you might want sports exhaust and sports handling and everything else that goes with it. And that's probably the mode that would be best. But if you're gonna take it on track, then you can firm everything up. Now, we're going over some very bumpy bits on the Millbrook testing ground. This is to test it, it's quite firm. The i30N had <laughs> this as well, but, Let's go over into end mode. So we can either press the flags for the presets or down here, just behind the gear selector, we've got the drive modes, which you can cycle through. There we go, so everything's gone red and we're in the most aggressive settings that you can get the car on. Front wheel drive, but we have got a limited slip diff on here so when you're pushing on it should drag you around the corners nicely so if we go around it's not slipping at all considering the amount of power and it being an SUV <laughs> it wasn't sliding at all that's really really impressive driving position is nice we've got these nice bucket seats they're holding me in and logo on the back this is lovely. This is a really, <laughs> really nice car. I thought I was going to like it because I've loved the other two N models. 
and this is just picking up where that left off. So we can pull a paddle here if we want to. Let's not go down that far. Let's give it some welly just to get round these. So yeah, that, that progresses rather well. And we can That, that's really impressive. Brake feel isn't too bad. We've got, yeah, that's good. So if we, and we'll push it quite hard round. No slip at all. How on earth this is front wheel drive? I don't know. We are 55 mile an hour on this route, but even so, it's pretty confident in inspiring this car. <laughs> we have got a head up display. I'm not sure if it's actually showing there. Now this. Let's go hard over this. A little bit light, but not that much. But we are. Yes, yes, yes. Hyundai, you have done it again. You've made another bloody brilliant car. Right, there is another button to make the car go even quicker. It's a red button, end yes. End grin smile or something weird like that as a name. But who cares what the name is? We care what it does. So end yes basically will give you 20 seconds of overboost. So we get another 10 or 15 brake horsepower which we can use once the road has freed up ever so slightly. <laughs> so I thought it was good like this, but that overboost, it's quite a cool thing to have on there. We have got a bit of a traffic jam, unfortunately, of cars at this second. I want to let everything go maybe slightly more. I've got nothing behind me. So we'll go down, we're going to press my... So we've got maximum attack. That was NGS mode. Everything did get more aggressive, the gear changes were better. But I'm stuck again. <laughs> Cars everywhere. So maybe we should just talk about the car as a whole then. It looks pretty outrageous. <laughs> it goes amazingly well, the grip is good. The brakes are okay. Um, it's certainly putting a smile on my face the way this thing handles. It's got all of the cool things of the i30N. Put it in normal mode, slacken everything off, it'd be a great family car. My wife would like it, my dog would be perfect in the back. We've got a reasonable sized boot, it's not silly money. So yeah, overall I'm gonna give this a massive, massive thumbs up. And guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this short but sweet review of this Kona N. I'd like to get my hands on this for a bit longer. 20 minutes, 25 minutes is really difficult to get across how good this is. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome. 
And remember to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.